so moving forward uh, the last thing from our today's session is going to be the customer reports so let's see all the customer reports that NetSuite offers so if we go in reports and we scroll down a little bit over here all right so here we have order management reports so you have your open sales orders or open pending sales orders fulfillment report back order report you have your return authorization register uh, so you know all sort of order management reports available again very handy and very uh, important for your sales uh, and the marketing team to track uh, all the orders and just make sure everything is being fulfilled on time and if there are any returns and if your management is very much interested in knowing all the returns that are coming from your customers you can see all these uh, reports and it will be really helpful in identifying all the root cause problems why your customers are giving you a returns so let's say if in a given month you have a lot of returns uh, the management or the sales the reasons of those returns so mm -hmm. okay so let's see the open sales order report so this is based on the as of date and the subsidiary that you will select you will see all the open sales order at a given point in time now uh, the management okay. and the sales and marketing team are very much interested uh, just and their kpis and key performance indicators are actually dependent upon uh, how much orders are fulfilled right so if there is anything pending uh, it's it's actually a concern for them. So they will be tracking this report a lot, and uh, this is going to help you in identifying all the open sales orders. You have your date, document number, customer, the status, and the open amount. So again, a very important report uh, from that perspective. Then you have your sales order pending fulfillment. So these are all the sales orders that have been uh, entered but are yet to be fulfilled. So this is a very important report for your sales uh, supply chain manager. So based on this report, he can do his planning and make sure the inventory is available so he can fulfill all these sales orders. So, you know, every report has its own uh, purpose that it serves. And uh, all right, let's just refresh this. And this is basically the sales back order report. Again, a very important report from the supply chain perspective. The supply chain uh, manager would be interested in knowing all the back ordered quantities. So, ba based on these quantities, he would be again doing some planning and would be ordering the goods uh, from the vendors so he can fulfill these orders. So, very important yeah. from that perspective. Okay, so these are some order management reports. And then, if you scroll down a little bit in the reporting section, you have your customers and receivables report. So you have your customer profitability report, you have your customers by sales rep report, you have your AR aging report, you have your AR register. So these are all important reports from finance and accounts perspective. So if I open my customer profitability summary, so based on the from date to date and the subsidies that you select, you will see uh, all the customers, all the, all the costs and the total revenue that you made and the total profit that you made against each customer. So if you need to identify all your uh, profit making customers so you can focus on them you can target uh, your attention towards them this is again a very very good report to identify your uh, profit making customers so you know customer profitability summary and then you have your customers by sales rep so you can see uh, what customers are assigned and what are the sales rep assigned to your customers uh, again at this point in time there are no sales rep but Again, very, very important for the sales and marketing team people. And then you have your AR aging report. This is this is like, you know, a very classic financial report where your accounting team would be tracking all the open AR that are due within 30 days, within 60 days, that are due from 90 days, or that are open from more than 90 days. So they will try to track all these uh, open AR amounts and will be calling to the customers and asking them to pay. So, you know, all the important reports are coming out of the box. And then you have your ER register. Yes. So as the name says, this is a register that is going to record all the transactions that are is hitting your accounts receivable account. So based on the from date to date, you can see all the transactions impacting your ER ledger. So yeah, these are all the standard reports that you get out of the box. I would highly recommend you to go in the reporting section and explore all the standard NetSuite reports. 
and uh, make sure that you're aware of them and uh, you know you're aware of, of the look and feel of these reports yes 